Dear journalists, before uh, the press conference, uh, we will sign the Memorandum of Understanding between the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Latvia and the Ministry for Europe and uh, Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Albania in the field of European integration. So now we will proceed with the press conference. Um, uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Latvia, uh, Edgar Rinkevich, and uh, uh, Mr. Dmitry Bushati, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Albania. Um, hello. Well, we just signed a memorandum of understanding between uh, our ministries um, about all cooperation between ministries in the field of European uh, integration and today also with our colleagues we uh, um, we discussed many bilateral things, bilateral relations as well I, Albania's intention on uh, and steps towards European Union I believe that our relations are very good first of all we are very thankful to our NATO ally Albania on uh, participation in the enhanced forward presence battle group here in Latvia. Also the colleague uh, um, visited um, soldiers in Adaji this morning and also we speak about further cooperation uh, in the area of safety in the NATO co context as well as regional uh, safety here in both the Baltics and in the Balkan region. Uh, also I am very glad that our cooperation uh, by passing on our knowledge on the uh, European integration process is developing and uh, at the moment uh, the, you know, uh, in our university uh, our university was graduated by four um, Albanian representatives uh, they graduated international uh, public law faculty and I believe uh, that uh, this program will be frequented by um, other Albanians as well also we spoke about um, economic cooperation um, trade cooperation we want to enlarge and intensify those contacts as well as we want to do our utmost in order for our um, economic cooperation to be uh, much tighter. Also, we spoke about enlargement process of the European Union, about progress of Albania, as well as events of last week when we had a meeting uh, between um, um, ministers foreign, of foreign, for foreign affairs of EU and Canada countries, and I believe that the published strategy for Western Balkans where there are criteria set uh, that has to be fulfilled in order to become uh, uh, for um, uh, European, uh, European Union country and indicative date uh, by 2025 uh, is enough uh, in order to work forward and uh, work forward uh, the enlargement of European Union. Our point of view is clear on this matter. Uh, according to us, uh, a European Union country can become any uh, country who fulfills all the criteria and uh, finishes all the ho home uh, work. Uh, as well as there has to be a will and uh, certain um, intentions and inclinations of the European Union countries and we are doing so. We support uh, intense negotiations uh, between Albania and European Union and we are uh, ready to help politically and practically. Thank you. And uh, now I give the floor to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Albania, Dmitry Pusharati. Thank you, Minister Rinkovic, dear Edgar. It's a great pleasure 
uh, for me to be in Riga today and having had a chance to meet with you and also colleagues in the parliament. It was also a great pleasure for me uh, to have a chance to visit our soldiers who are part of the Enhanced Forward uh, Presence Battle Group here in Latvia and to see how they are working and cooperating also with uh, the soldiers from other allies. We would like to uh, express our deep appreciation for the support uh, we have received from your country, from Latvia, um, in the process of uh, EU membership. We were granted uh, the EU candidate status back in 2014 during the Latvian uh, presidency of European Union and we know very well your firm and principled position as far as enlargement process is concerned, especially for uh, countries that have gone through more or less the same challenges with uh, communist and authoritarian regimes. Uh, we do uh, also appreciate the uh, fact that Commission uh, has published this uh, enlargement strategy um, and this document highlights numerous of areas where European Union and Western Balkans could strengthen their cooperation and we see a real chance for us first on having a clear recommendation from European Commission on the start of accession negotiations and later on a support or endorsement that would come from member states. We um, had a chance also to uh, discuss together about the challenges we are uh, facing in our neighborhood and also here um, and we do share more or less the same vision about the uh, strengthening of NATO and the cooperation with the uh, uh, European Union and I would like uh, once again to thank Edgar for being a very great host. Thank you. So, journalists, now you have the opportunity to ask questions, please. Hello, uh, Richard Blum from Letter Agency. I wanted to ask a question uh, to the Minister from Albania uh, as to how you evaluate uh, the uh, possibility of starting those negotiations with European Union. What are the uh, most uh, needed steps and what would be the reforms in order to proceed swiftly towards the uh, accession? We do accept, we do expect uh, a recommendation, a clear recommendation from European Commission this uh, April based on the logic of the recommendation and the Council conclusions of 2016 for the opening of uh, accession negotiations with uh, Albania, according to which uh, rule of law related reforms are having a top, uh, a top priority. During, the, uh, during these two years, we have gone through a set of uh, reforms. We have built up a new architecture in judiciary and also in the prosecution office from the very beginning we have been closely cooperating with uh, Venice Commission and also with uh, the services of uh, European Commission responsible for rule of law as well as with the member states according to these uh, uh, process we are now in the implementing phase of the judicial reform according to which all judges and prosecutors at various instances are going through a vetting process and this uh, process is being uh, conducted in close cooperation with the uh, international expertise of various EU member states. We are also uh, expecting, uh, therefore, that uh, the recommendation of European Commission will be followed by an endorsement from uh, EU member states, because we do believe and we see the start of the accession negotiation as the beginning of, uh, of the process and not as the end of this journey and we see this uh, happening in 2018 as a window uh, of um, opportunity for both
for us first and foremost, but also for uh, European Union. Yes. Thank you. One more question. One more question from uh, me. Uh, also to the Ministry of Albania, uh, among the member countries of EU, EU uh, there are concerns if um, EU is not going to foster, to make a speedier process uh, of accession of Albania, this process can be used uh, in vain by Russia, uh, maybe you, um, you already uh, feel some threats or process, processes um, uh, from uh, from uh, enemies against uh, the processes of moving towards e European Union. It is true that Western Balkans is a chessboard for uh, geopolitical uh, competition, but uh, uh, when it comes to Albania, uh, we do not see any alternative to EU membership. So we would like to be uh, focused on the positive scenario, on the positive uh, narrative, and to see the uh, accession process as an investment for the security of the continent, but also as an investment for uh, the uh, democratic stability of our neighborhood and the social and economic transformation of Albania and, 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 and Western Balkans. So, uh, we are very much focused on the reform process as we see a direct linkage between the reform process and the security environment and the EU membership uh, process. No more questions. Thank you. So the press conference is closed. <laughs>